of AP Word Problems Let us now solve a few word problems. Mary got a job with a starting salary of rupees 15,000 per month. She will get an incentive of rupees 100 per month. What will be her salary after 20 months? It is given that Mary's starting salary is rupees 15,000. She gets an incentive of rupees 100 per month. Now, what will be her salary for the second month? A salary for the second month will be rupees 15,100. What will be her salary for the third month? A salary for the third month will be rupees 15,200. Therefore, a salary for the first month, second month, third month and so on will be rupees 15,000, 15,100, 15,200 and so on. This is an AP with the first term 15,000 and the common difference 100. We want to find a salary after 20 months. This means for N is 20, we have to find Tn. We know the formula Tn is A plus N minus 1 into D. Substituting the values of A, N and D, we get T20 is 15,000 plus 20 minus 1 into 100. On simplifying, we get T20 is 16,900. Therefore, Mary's monthly salary after 20 months is rupees 16,900. Let us solve another question. A village has 4,000 literate people in the year 2001. And this number increases by 400 per year. How many literate people will be there till the year 2010? Find a formula to know the number of literate people after n years. Here, A is 4000, D is 400, N is 10. We have to find T10. We know the formula Tn is A plus N minus 1 into D. Substituting the given values we get, T10 is 4000 plus 10 minus 1 into 400. On simplifying, we get T10 is 7600. Therefore, the number of literate people in the year 2010 will be 7600. Now, let us find the formula to know the number of literate people after n years. Tn is a plus n minus 1 into d. Substituting the given values we get, Tn is 4000 plus n minus 1 into 400. On simplifying, we get Tn is 3600 plus 400n. Therefore, the formula to find the number of literate people after n years is 3600 plus 400n. If we substitute n is 10 in this formula, we get the same value. T10 is 7600. Let us now solve another question. Babu Bai borrows rupees 4000 and agrees to repay with a total interest of rupees 500 in 10 installments, each installment being less than the preceding installment by rupees 10. What should be the first and the last installment? The amount Babu Bai borrowed is rupees 4000. 
with this amount he has to pay rupees 500 as interest therefore the total amount he has to pay is rupees 4500 therefore sn is 4500 since the number of installments is 10 n is 10 since each installment is rupees 10 less than the preceding installment d is minus 10 we have to find the first installment a and the last installment t10 we know the formula sn is n upon 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d substituting the values of n and d we get s10 is 10 upon 2 into 2a plus 10 minus 1 into minus 10 but s10 is 4500 therefore 4500 is 5 into 2a minus 90 on simplifying we get a is 495 thus the first installment is rupees 495 to find the last installment tn that is t10 we will use the formula tn is a plus n minus 1 into d substituting the given values we get t10 is 495 plus 10 minus 1 into minus 10 on simplifying we get t10 is equal to 405 therefore the last installment is rupees 405 thus the first installment is rupees 495 and the last installment is rupees 405 let us solve one more question in a school a plantation program was arranged on the occasion of world environment day on a ground of triangular shape the trees are to be planted as shown in the figure one plant in the first row two in the second row three in the third row and so on if there are 25 rows then find the total number of plants to be planted number of plants planted in each row is one in the first row two in the second row three in the third row and so on up to 25 in the 25th row since the common difference is one it is an ap with the first term one and the last term 25 that is t1 is 1 and tn is t25 is 25 since the number of rows are 25 n is 25 we have to find the total number of plants in all the 25 rows that is s25 since we know the first term and the last term we can use the formula sn is n upon 2 into t1 plus tn substituting the values of n t1 and tn we get s25 is 25 upon 2 into 1 plus 25 which on simplifying is equal to 325 therefore the total number of plants to be planted is 325